In this overview, I'm going to cover how to edit a product post to customize your site. Now I've already installed and activated the reseller store plugin and I am on the product list page on my WordPress dashboard. Here are a list of all the products that can be sold on your storefront. And to get started, I'm going to go ahead and edit the WordPress e-commerce product. As you can see, a product is very similar to any other post in WordPress. You have your title and your body and your options here on the side. Now a reseller store product can be added to a page to be sold on a product landing page. So I'm going to go ahead and click on pages and I've already started on a WooCommerce hosting product landing page. So let's click edit Now this page has a title and then I have on the top here a cover with some text. I've added a column and on one of the columns I've added a product widget and I've selected WordPress e-commerce. Now I also have a standard image here on the side. I have some more paragraph text and then down here I have added some co-block features along with another cover image at the very bottom. Now let's go back and preview this page. So here's the copy of the page and what it looks like. It looks good but I would like to format this product widget here a little bit better. And so the way that we can format that is to go back to our dashboard, go down to reseller store, product list, and since we selected the WordPress e-commerce product, that's the one we'll go ahead and edit. Now to get started, I want to change the product name from WordPress e-commerce to WooCommerce hosting. The next thing I want to do is organize the information down here a little bit better. So I'm going to go ahead and add a new block and I'm going to go to CoBlocks, which is another plugin I have installed, and choose Accordion. Now the first thing that I want to do is go ahead and organize this information. So I'm going to take some of these unlimited options here and I'm going to put that in the first accordion. So let's call that accordion unlimited hosting. Go ahead and add a second accordion. We'll call that next accordion top rated features. Now in the first accordion, let's go ahead and just grab this unlimited hosting, unlimited visits, remove that and we'll paste that down here. And then we'll continue to move the rest of this information. Now that I have reorganized all the product details on this page, the next thing that I want to do is go ahead and update the thumbnail image, the product image here. So I'm going to click replace image under product image and I'm going to choose a WooCommerce logo. And then come down here and hit set product image. Now that I've made those updates, I'm going to go ahead and click update to save my changes. And then go back to pages. And let's take a look at my product landing page. So let's click edit. Okay, we can see that some of the information is taken. It's got my new accordions here, but it doesn't show the new image. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and click on this product block, and over here it says image size. I'm going to change that from a product icon to full. 
I'm also, I want to get rid of this more info. So I'm also going to set, uncheck the set content height. So it shows all the content. And then the last change that I want to make is I want to move this price and button to the bottom of the product block. And the way I do that is come over here to layout type and choose classic. Now that my changes are done, let's go ahead and publish this page. And we can take a look at what we've built. So you see my logo is now showing along with the product title. And then I have my accordions that can be expanded. So let's go back to the product list here and talk about some of the other options that you can you can do. So the first thing is I have edited the content here, but let's say that I want to roll that content back to what was originally uh, provided when I first installed the plugin. So the way that I can do that is I can check mark these products, whichever ones I want to go ahead and roll back or restore. You can select all of them or just a few of them. And in the drop down list up here, it's called restore product data. So if I go ahead and select that and then click apply, What will happen is if I go ahead and edit that product now, you'll see that the title is back to WordPress e-commerce and all of the content has been restored back to the original product post. Now let's say that I have added, so that I've built this WordPress e-commerce landing page but I don't want to sell some of the other products that are in this list. So for example, I would much rather sell the WordPress e-commerce and I don't want to sell um, and I don't want to sell the quick shopping cart products. So what I can do is edit those products and click move to trash. Or I can simply just select a few of these products and choose move to trash. Now you will see that I have 65 products available and three in my trash. These ones are now hidden from my customers and they can and as well as search engines and they cannot be purchased via the WordPress storefront. Now I recommend just simply leaving these in your trash can rather than completely permanently deleting them. And the reason is is you can easily restore them if you want decide later to go ahead and sell those products. And also if you were to update the plugin, these products may be restored automatically if they were deleted permanently. So I'll show you how that works. Let's go ahead and delete just for this video purpose only. Let's go ahead and delete permanently delete the quick shopping cart premium. Now that product is completely removed from my catalog. It's not available in the trash can or as an active product. Now I can get that product back if I go back to the reseller store plugin menu here and choose settings. and I have a button here that says check for new products and if I were to click import new product button that is going to go ahead and check against the API and look for any products that were missing and it's going to import this product as if it was a new brand new product it's going to have a new post ID and it's going to be active again now I didn't want that product to be active so I'm going to have to go ahead and move it to the trash again 
So now I'm back to my 65 active products that I wanted to sell on my storefront. Let's go ahead and take a look at the settings a little bit further here. So we already talked about the check for new products. What other options do we have here? Well, when I first go to settings here, it's going to tell me what the display name is that I have set in the reseller control center and the home URL that I have set in the reseller control center. Now this home URL should match what the home URL of your WordPress storefront is. The next URL below that is called the storefront domain. And this is the domain that is used for the configuration pages and domain purchase path pages. And the way that you can set that, and I recommend you can set that in the reseller control center. So I've logged into my reseller control center, which is separate from the WordPress plugin. And you click on settings and then company information. In here you can set the company name, you can set your home URL which should match your WordPress storefront, and then your standard storefront domain. Now I recommend you use the same domain that you use for your WordPress storefront, just give it a different subdomain. So instead of using www, I've chosen to use shop. And then click save. Once you've made these changes, if you go back to your WordPress dashboard, you should now see those changes reflected here. Now additionally, you can set some product widget defaults by going to the product settings tab. We talked about the layout type earlier being default or classic, and that's what will lay out the display the layout for the price and the cart button. You can default your image size from a product icon to one of these other sizes, as well as all of these other settings. Additionally, you can set global defaults for your domain widgets, and you can also set localization settings for the plugin. This will go ahead and update and change the currency that will display on your storefront if you want to use a different currency than what is the default set in the RCC, the Reseller Control Center as well as the market and language. So I can show you how that works real quick. Let's go ahead and choose a DE, DE market and EUR and hit save changes. Now if I were to go back to my product catalog and let's go ahead and update the WordPress e-commerce by choosing restore product data and click apply. Now because in the, the widget settings I had set a different language and a different currency, after restoring you will see when I edit this that the proc now displays in a different language according to the market that I chose. Mm -hmm.